Somewhere between space and time, there is a place, the Archive of Awesome, an ancient vault that guards the most amazing stories and myths. Each book, a magical gateway to the paperverse. Let me take you on a journey through the seven masterpieces. It's time to return to game. Book of Demons, a truly grim story in our collection, not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home, only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Arr! The ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. Horrors. All of these await below. Good luck. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. brings hope to my old heart. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. I should know. <laughs> but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. That enigma is yet to be solved. 
uh, and you are the only one who can do it. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back, and those who did were no longer alive. I am the sword that splits darkness.
can see that the sanctity of this place has been fouled. Greetings, Traveler. People call me the Fortune Teller. I'm pleased to see there are souls courageous enough to visit a place like this and stay. In truth, I came here recently myself, 
<clears throat> has I had to leave the royal capital. I am certain you have already heard about me and my excellent skills from the lovely barmaid I'm tutoring. Believe me when I say you will find my craft most useful in your adventures. Feel free to talk to me should you need any assistance. The townsfolk are good but simple people and know little about the arcane. That sage may be an exception, but his wit, not to mention his social skills, are clearly dulled by age. <laughs> We're all lucky that cranky old men tend to be harmless. Cards are my specialty. They represent a novel approach to magic, offering a superior alternative to clunky weaponry and verbose spellcasting. Unfortunately, new things are often frowned upon, even more so in quaint places like this town. Can you imagine not so long ago those people traded with a local blacksmith? This is so Middle Ages. <laughs> no wonder he went bankrupt. But let's get back to business. Cards are universal magical items which can manifest properties of weapons, spells, and other artifacts. Some consume magical essence once used, but they can be recharged using objects found in the dungeons or with my help at a reasonable price. Just like with playing cards, the trick is to find the right combination of magical properties that gives you the best advantage. Few living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is the realm where the dead rest, or at least should be resting. Countless warriors, men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old, were buried there with troves of gold and gems. But the dead are now restless. Quickened by some unholy powers, they are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. Ending their painful existence will be an act of mercy if you ask me. busy too while you were away. The fortune teller is teaching me her craft, and I don't mean her skill with guards. It's called prize brewing, and it's the art of producing powerful magical elixirs that someone like you should find useful. All you need to do is collect the ingredients. I'll take care of the rest. Now, this is the magical stuff I'm talking about, so there are some rules. First, the more ingredients I mix, the greater the potion's power will be. Second, you can drink it and enjoy a little magic any time you want, but the process will get more expensive each time. Third, if monsters slay you in the dungeons, the potion will weaken. It's because I'm making them just for you, so they have to be magically linked to your essence 